Hi, uh, welcome everyone to Let's Play Cold Waters. For those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Cod Raven1728. And today we'll be playing on realistic difficulty. Uh, we'll be playing the 1984 campaign. Uh, this is version 1.9C, as you can see at the bottom right corner of the screen. This this build of the game, it is not. It, it's the beta build essentially that's available as of right now. The date I'm recording this be the 20th of December, 2017. So, those of you who don't know, Cold Waters is a Cold War era submarine game. Whereas of right now you play as American submarines in two different scenarios should the Cold War go hot. Playing the 1984 campaign, I have done the 1968 campaign, I have beaten the game in the 1984 campaign. Uh, personally I just feel the 1984 campaign, well, the 1986 campaign is more my style, I'm more comfortable with it because I'm used to the weapon systems. In fact, the torpedo, the unguided torpedo, is the same exact torpedo, the Mark 16, that we use in Silent Hunter 4. That we did use for a long time. So, quite familiar with that, and I have sunk several Soviet submarines on the surface with it. However, I feel playing the 1984 campaign will be more interesting, especially with the addition of neutral shipping traffic. Go ahead and start. As you can see, I've got two saves already. So, let's go ahead and get started. I'll leave my numbers out. I typically do. Alright, so we got several different types of boats. We have the Los Angeles class attack boat, which is not the uh, VTLS equipped one. It doesn't have the vertical launch system. Is it VTLS? Anyway, we don't have the multiple vertical tubes to launch land attack missiles and anti-surface ship based missiles, the Harpoon, Harpoon and Tomahawks. The sub I beat the game with before is this, the Narwhal class nuclear attack sub. At the time of its construction, it was the quietest submarine in the world, and was, and, rem and held that title up until the construction of the Sea Wolf, at least in terms of NATO submarines. And I really, really like this boat, although it's slower than most boats. Then we have the Sturgeon class. This is one of the older boats. 1967 boat. It is a slower boat. We have the Permit class, 28 knots. Maximum speed. Well, this was originally named the Thresher class, however, for those of you who don't know, in 1963, the Thresher was lost with all hands. In a similar incident, you could say, to the loss of the Argentinian sub in November 2017. A similar event, you could say, but not under the same circumstances. The Argentinian boat was a diesel electric boat, and this is a nuclear attack sub. And I don't think the Argentina, the San Juan, I believe it was called, uh, went down uh, in one large, like it didn't go through crush depth in one large 
uh, chunk. It went through, like, I want to imagine, I think it went through crush depth in the individual compartments or something like that. But enough talking about that. I've just seen the sonogram stuff, and that was my opinion. Moving on, we've got the Skipjack class. Nuclear attack boat. This is the boat I believe I played with in the 19... 68 campaign? 1967 campaign. USS Scorpion sank with all hands in 1968. And now we loop back to the Los Angeles class attack subs. Unfortunately, we don't have the Flight 3 LA class, which is has the one of the boats in that class is the namesake of the city I was born in, the USS Boise. But I don't think the Boise's in the game, because I don't think it was built yet. And you know what? I'm going to hover over the narwhal, but we're going to click this big random button. Because I couldn't decide on a boat. So, effective immediately, we are assigned SSN 612 permit class. USS Guardfish. Very well. It's not the narwhal I'm used to having, and it's definitely no LA. I should have been paying attention. I think this is the one that goes 28 knots. Anyway, we've got our lead up, some history, if you will. Keep in mind, this is actually, this all happened before I was born, so. President-elect Ronald Reagan has become his term in office, yep. Harsh stance against the Soviet Union. Reagan pushing too hard. I believe this actually happened. Uh, I think this did as well. The Soviets shoot down a civilian airliner. I'm pretty sure they actually did that over the Sakhalins, which is just north of Japan, in 1962. I'm pretty sure that actually... Or no, well... 1962 is the Cuban Missile Crisis. But the Soviets doing that, I think 1985 was that, is that that date tag? She was down a civilian airliner. I think that did actually happen. Pershing missiles deployed in West Germany, yep. I remember this. I remember reading about this. Like I said, all this happened before I was born, but I did read up on the Cold War stuff. And honestly, the Cold War doesn't interest me very much. I'm more of a World War II person. But I do like submarines. See, and this is Able Archer, right? Yeah, Soviets thought nuclear drill Able Archer was real. 1983 exercise. Yeah, basically, the Third World War almost started right there. And now, we have the start of the game. Soviets attack, war declared. So, here we are. Welcome to Holy Lock, Scotland. Our first mission, 
is there is a wolf pack of diesel electric attack subs that will sail within the next seven days to trans to transit the Greenland, Iceland, UK gap area. They must be sunk before they get the opportunity to cause mayhem along the North Atlantic convoy routes. Intelligence believes the pack may consist of two to four Foxtra and or Romeo class submarines. Our primary objective is to locate and sink the enemy attack subs. Alright, let's look at our equipment. We have 23 weapons in our storage. Uh, I'm happy with what we've got. I may I may tuck in some of these harpoons. Yeah. No, we'll just keep what we got. Typically I take tomahawks with me. Because I like their extra punching power, but we're not going after surface ships. Ahead and make a manual save. Can I look at the? Is, does it sound loud to anyone? Continue on course. Right. So the Greenland Ice Iceland UK gap is right here where the Sosis net is. This little blue line, if you will, is a Sosis net. Basically, it's a massive chain of sonar buoys and other sonar sets that basically whenever somebody rolls over them, they get detected. We got air patrol going out. The blue is naturally ours. The Soviets don't have access to the Solstice net. And who is this chilling so close to? Uh... Who might you be? We have a new contact, bearing 102, designated Sierra 1. You've got a couple of options you can close to different distances. This typically, I find, just puts you way out of the fight. Although they may have fixed that. I think it's based on your speed or something. I usually just die whenever that happens. This is also the first time I'm playing on realistic difficulty. So we'll see how that goes. I'll have to remember my controls as well. New sort of chronic break mode two, all hands man battle stations. Alright, we're at periscope depth. Okay. Let's get to work IDing this guy. I'm gonna assume he's a submarine. His first frequency is 50. As are most non-American boats. No. The idea of what we're doing is trying to line up our sonar frequency profile with the sound we're hearing. This includes sounds like its propellers, its propulsion, all sorts of different sounds. You can hear him rather well. So I imagine he's something loud, like a foxtrot. Con sonar, Sierra 1, is classified as submerged submarine. Now, remember how I do all my things. Raise the ESM mast. I could have these all open at once. Con sonar, Sierra 1, is classified as submerged the submarine. Romeo, okay. So we've got him locked up. No one shining radar. Lower the ESM mast. Right. There's a strong thermal layer. We can hear him through the thermal layer. So here's what we're gonna do. He's just off to our left, so what we're gonna do... Active torpedo. Let me remember how to do this. I wanted to search down. Weapons control. Snapshot 2 1. Target. Shoot 2 1. Zero. Should have said shoot 2 1, but whatever. Make depth 
Big by depth forward zero zero feet. hear me even if he does these uh these numbers here are frequency uh con sonar new contact bearing one two one designated sierra two looks like a fox drop to me con sonar sierra two is classified as could be a juliet submarine. actually No, it's not that. Typically, Romeo and Juliet class are, are seen together. Oh, he turned around. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, zero, he already nine, popped two. a noisemaker. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Okay, weapon, here's what you're gonna do. Go down there, see him. I'm controlling Con, him with the wire. fire control, weapon, countermeasure, homing. Okay. Actually, we need to cut in this way. I will manually guide you. Don't worry, weapon. Give me control. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, zero, see the nine, noise three. He was turning to starboard last I saw him. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Okay, we got him. Con, no. helm, steady course. Turn this way. Don't look at the noisemaker. Look at this thing. Con, look at this glorious control, Type 21 U-boat. Now send him to the bottom. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra 
One, last bearing, zero. Con, dive at four, zero, zero, eight, dive by. Turn due south. Come right to one, eight, zero, helm I. Don't quite know the range on that Foxtrot yet. It's F1 to go back to my boat. It's time for compression. I don't remember what my time compression button is. One moment. Reference time compression, time compression. Time compression is F9, okay. We just want to listen to this. Con, drop your room. Tube 1 ready. He's Con, diving. helm. Steady course. Con, sonar, new contact bearing. Zero, seven, zero. Designated Sierra, three. Let's see who you are. It looks like a Romeo to me. Con sonar, Sierra 3, is classified as submerged submarine. Helm, turn to heading Come 017. Left zero, one, Let's check seven, the baffles. Helm, I. lose the foxtrot for a second as he goes into her Totoray's baffles. Yeah, see, the Totoray just hit with zero for a second there. What are we doing on the foxtrot? Okay, we see him. I want to get eyes on this Romeo. Con, helm, steady course. Because he, he, he's actually pretty close to picking me up now. This Romeo. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Yeah, now he can't hear me. Okay, I know where the Romeo is pointed now. I've got his course and his speed. He's coming to me. We'll have to shoot at both of them at the same time. Drop us to 800 feet. Make depth 800 zero, zero feet, dive by. See if we got any other playmates in the region. Con, dive at eight zero zero feet, dive by. Okay, we got him. We got his position. Repair tubes two and four. I think is a direct copy of the German Type 22 or Type 21 U-boat from World War II. Stand by to fire. Shoot to two. Contact Sierra three. Send it. Aye, sir. Shoot to four. Contact Sierra two. Send it. Four. Aye, sir. Helm, turn me to zero seven right five. To zero seven Make my depth one thousand. Make depth one zero zero zero. Con sonar, lost transient from Sierra three. Release the ship from ultra quiet. Turn heading zero zero six. Zero zero six. Helm I. Haul ahead flank. Make turns two eight nine. Maneuvering on. Oh, 
they're shooting back at us. Passing 900 feet. Con, sonar, lost contact. See a con, helm, steady course. Con, fire control, we've lost the wire. Load a moss in tube 4. No, the best Con we sonar lost contact. Sierra three last bearing one one four contact faded. Make my depth one one depth zero one, zero. One zero zero feet die by. Con sonar noisemaker bearing one one nine. There's their torps over there. It's going up. It actually may be my torp, actually. Con, fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. Con, dive at one, one, I zero, can't go zero, and look at it. I hear the pings. Con sonar, noisemaker bearing one zero nine. Con maneuvering, make rig ship for ultra quiet. Rig for ultra quiet. Take me up. Make depth, depth two, one zero zero. zero. zero Con fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. Con sonar, noisemaker bearing one, one, one. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra three, bearing one, three, six. There, there, Con sonar tools. regained contact on Sierra two, bearing one, one, Ooh, zero. Surface skimming. He put one above the layer and one below the layer. This area is known as the thermal layer. You've got a strong duct. Basically, when they're both strong like this, it's very difficult to hear one on the other side of the layer, unless you get close enough to, and then a thing called the critical angle Con happens. Sonar lost contact. Oh dear. Sierra two, last bearing one, zero, nine, contact breaking up. Bagged herself a Foxtrot. Come right to. Zero, seven, two, helm, I. Here's my tour. It looks like we're actually gonna strike the same target. <laughs> Make my depth four, zero, zero. Make depth four, zero, zero, eight, die by. Turn to heading one, right zero, zero. One, zero, zero, helm, I. Keep in mind, this is no longer a friendly torpedo to someone like me. Remember? Oh, I did. Did I set it to circle search? I thought I set it to snake. Don't know why it's circle searching. Con, dive at four zero zero feet. Dive by. Alright, we, we acquired the Romeo. Fire control. Fire tube two. Contact Sierra three. Distance 6,000 yards. Send it. Two, two, three. Hi, sir. Helm, come right to come two, right seven, two, zero. two seven zero. Helm, I. Depth control, make my depth eight zero zero. Make depth eight zero zero feet, die by. Make an adjustment to my weapon. Con, 
Fire control. Weapon acquired. Say, now he should know it's there. There's not a lot he can do about it, though. No weapons nearby, no aircraft nearby, and we are not flooding. We'll leave combat. We sank three enemy submarines. One Romeo, one Foxtrot, and a second Romeo. That was our mission objective. Now, had even one slipped away from us, that would have failed our mission. And we wouldn't have gotten a second chance at them. Which is kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. The wolves are driven off. So, effectively, our supplies are doing better. Alright, so our objective is to locate and sink enemy resupply tankers and tenders. They are expected to sail from Murmansk shortly, in rendezvous near the Soviet coast. We are ordered to find and sink this group before it completes replenishment of enemy forces. The tenders and tankers are the mission target. Looks like we're about to get intercepted. Turn south and let's avoid them. I launch from her man. We'll do one more mission and then call it an episode. I'm gonna make a save. I do intend on reloading should I die. Just will make that clear. Now, if that enemy plane flies over me, it won't trigger a battle, but they'll know where we are. Red tanks. Red tanks, West Germany. Saw the tanks. So, West Germany has basically collapsed. We're gonna set. We're gonna sit. Uh, come over here toward the Barren Sea. I think he was close enough to see us. I'm not sure where this resupply tender is supposed to be. Oh, yeah, hello. He ran. Somebody ran us down. We're gonna go to battle sonar lost contact. Sierra one. Last bearing one five nine. Contact faded. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Rig for ultra quiet, prep torps for snapshot. 159, you say. Bearing 159 to us. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra oh, no. 1. It's, bearing they're one, using five, true. Nine. They're using true bearing. I don't. I actually prefer if the sonar does reference bearing to my boat. So my boat, the nose of my boat being zero, and the prop of my boat being uh, 180. So we're gonna turn right to 228. Come right to 228. Helm I. This is going to be a submarine. This is probably a nuclear attack boat who went looking for us. I almost panicked there. It's like that could be bad. Maybe a kilo. Victor one, yeah. 
Recon sonar. Nuclear Sierra tip. one is classified as submerged submarine. Not a kilo. Kilo kilo scare me more than anything else because it's one of the few things that I feel is quiet enough to contend with the narwhal class. Whether that's true or not, I'm not not 100 sure, but it's the thing that scares me more than anything else. I'll fight alphas over kilos. But also, they're not holding squalls either. The squall rocket torpedo. Right. Con, helm, steady course. It is possible he can hear me. Con, sonar, Sierra, one, is cavitating. He's what? Why is he cavitating? Prep snapshot. The engaged side is the port side of our boat, so we'll want to use these two tubes. Slowing down. Is he trying to bait me into shooting? Here's what I'm going to do. Let's first get his... Can he see me yet? He possibly can if he switches to active search make my depth uh, 400 zero zero. make depth 400 zero zero so we can get the tow array brought five. out we can't hear him on our tow dive at 400 zero zero feet dive by We're sizing them up via TMA, the target motion analysis. Okay, there we go. There's our boat. It is a Victor 1. He is turning to... He's turning towards us, which is not what I want to see. Alright. Prep tube 1. Target Sierra 1. Activation range, let's say 7,400 yards. Shoot tube 1. Tube 1. Hi, sir. Shoot the moss. Shoot tube 4. Aye, sir. Head flank torpedo Being evasion. Con sonar. We are cavitating. I'm aware of that. Set so heading Helm three right four two, one. Three four one. Helm I. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one last bearing. Try to get so we're not cavitating. Major con sonar, no longer cavitating. Con maneuvering, making turns for one, five. Somehow we haven't lost this wire yet. Con, no. There he course. goes. Oh, he snapped shot multiple weapons at us. Come right to zero four eight helm I. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra one bearing one three two. Con sonar Head we are cavitating. There's no need Con to be subtle. Sonar lost contact. Sierra one. He is flinging all bearing, sorts one, of stuff at three, us. Six contact faded. Con maneuvering making turns for two eight knots. Tube one, reload a moss. Con sonar, noisemaker bearing one, five, three. Con sonar, new contact bearing one, four, three. Designated Sierra two. Oh, is there another boat? Con sonar, lost contact. Sierra two, last bearing one, four, five. Contact faded. Come right to. Zero nine right zero, zero nine zero. zero. Right. Rig for ultra quiet. Ship for ultra quiet. Con sonar no longer cavitating. His torps are gonna go right by us. Who is this Sierra two you speak of? Make my depth three zero zero. Make depth three zero zero feet. Die by. Let's get the tow array out. Who is this? Another Victor 1? Con sonar, Sierra 2 is classified.
classified as submerged submarine. Con, dive at three, zero, zero feet, dive by. He's closer to the surface. Do not have a lot of playing room here. Hear him on the toad, the toad array. Okay, we've got his. He's headed away from us. Come right to one, three, four. Helm, I. Let's turn to one three four. Con helm, steady course. There he is. Turn to one seven zero. Come right to one seven zero. Helm I. Con helm, steady course. Release from Ultra. Make my, uh, yeah. Let's go for seven knots. Make turns, turns for seven. For seven knots. Maneuvering eye. Slow down to six. Make turns for six knots. Maneuvering eye. Just heading one. Come nine right zero. to one nine zero. We lost Helm eye. Two. Uh, that'd be two three. Snapshot. Fourteen thousand five hundred kilo yards. Steady course. Make turns Come left for one two, two zero. One two zero. Helm. I Head one make turns for five knots. Maneuvering eye. New contact. We have a Sierra three. Who is this Sierra three you speak of? Sierra 3 is classified as submerged submarine. He didn't seem to react whatsoever. Come right to 168 Helm I. Con Helm, steady course. Rick for Rick ship for overflow. Snapshot incoming. Con sonar, launch transient from Sierra 3. Snap him back. Aye, sir. Make turns for con sonar. We are cavitating. Con helm, steady course. Con fire control. We've lost the wire. Want to reset the wire in time. Sonar, no longer cavitating. Yeah, that's what I thought. Snapshot tube four. Range, let's say fifteen thousand kilometers. Done maneuvering, making turns for one zero nine. Turn heading Come zero left three two, six three three six. Helm I. Snapshot the moss. Do so. Shoot tube one. I sir. Make turns for one five knots. Maneuvering eye. Con sonar regained. Con, con sonar. We are cavitating. Somebody blew up. Hopefully he'll look at the moss and not me. 
Make con sonar. No longer cavitating. Slow it down. You looking at the moss? Con sonar regained contact on Sierra. Oh, three, you're coming for some delicious two, three, moss. Three. Sorry, friend, that's not actually a real submarine. Is it two nine two two nine four? Helm I. Yeah, you can go chasing the moss for all Con eternity. Helm, steady course. Victor 1 sunk. That was a lot of wasted torpedoes. Go ahead and save, and we're going to call it an episode. Next time on Let's Play Cold Waters. Not 100% sure. I will see you then.